Hey, fellow dog and cat owners. I am really excited this afternoon to talk to you guys about one of my favorite products. And this is really mostly for the dog lovers out there. You know, when we started Lap of Love, I always kind of had this theory that we would help a lot of cats because cats have a hard time, um, you know, traveling easy, getting them into the cat cat carrier, bringing them to the clinic. And and unfortunately, a lot of times cats don't get seen by their veterinarian. So I thought with Lap of Love that we would be helping a lot of cats. And though we do help cats, the number one pet that we see is dogs and the number one ailment is mobility issues and it's ranges from just a, a you know mild arthritis to really um really big mobility issues where they're even in wheelchairs or completely unable to move so hi from toronto super sue and um i myself i'll tell you my story i have had three dogs that have had mobility issues my first was my uh, samoyed and hi from Georgia, my Samoyed Sarissa. Wait, wait, there oh, she's behind that little palm front. And she had arthritis. So she had hip dysplasia and she had really bad arthritis. And I was starting to use towels to move her around and then some some harnesses I just got at the at the you know pet store. And hi from Pennsylvania. And um, and it was it was not so difficult because she was about 50 pounds. And and her and her ailment or her or her mobility issue wasn't too bad. Up next is my big Doberman uh, Duncan. So there's his picture over there. And um, sorry, I, I love reading your guys' comments. So just check it in. So my Doberman Duncan, he had laryngeal paralysis, and that will lead a lot to a po what we call polyneuropathy. So um, it's a it's a neurological disease where they actually will start to do that little toe drag, um, you know, uh, the, the toe knuckling, weakness in their hind end. It's usually uh, bilateral, so both sides, not just one hip, both sides. So this is a really bad disease, and I'm a part of the, the Facebook group for laryngeal paralysis owners. So hi, all of you that are here. And so he was 110 pounds, and so now we're getting bigger. And um, and so he was he had a struggle, and now my current dog is a Anatolian Shepherd. She should be about 80 pounds. She has lymphoma, though, so she has a type of cancer which is actually has has since traveled to her spine, and that's actually what I first noticed. Her mobility issues was a year ago. Her little leg would just tremor, 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 <laughs> tremor a little bit, and it was just really weird to me. And I and I was oh maybe it's arthritis, and so. Long story short, I had um, I, I brought her to a neurologist and we did an MRI and we found that there was cancer in her spine. And so since about May, her mobility has gotten uh, worse and it's really severe now. So as it's as it's getting worse over time. So hello from Buffalo and Baltimore, Connecticut and the UK, Texas. So my girl, Sam, I have to say that my girl, Sam, so, she, so she's got a boy name, but she's Sam. She is, um, she's stubborn as a mule, okay? And I had bought the, the lamps, hello from Georgia, Larpar Group. I had bought ramps to go into the car because she needed to go see her oncologist a lot, go to the groomer often. And she was not having the ramp. I've done, I know how to train a dog to get up a ramp. She was not having it. And so it was almost impossible for me to get her into the car um, and so I have a, a, an SUV, so I have a Ford Explorer, like almost all cop cars out there. And, um, and so it was, it was almost impossible. And I am a, a, a big girl. I'm pretty, uh, I'm six one. I can lift a, a lot, uh, a lot of heavy items, but Sam did not like me lifting her or using the um, uh, ramp. So I had to use my favorite harness of all time. So that's what this uh, Facebook live is dedicated to. And that is, um, the, the harness that I recommend the most, which is called the Help Em Up Harness. And I just need to start off this conversation with a disclaimer. My disclaimer is I get zero money for anything I advertise, including this. And I wanna say that because I don't think I could talk better about any other product than this Help Em Up Harness. I recommend it to just about everybody. I, I put it in my lectures when I'm lecturing to veterinarians. It's in, it basically should be my signature card. So I don't get any kickbacks. To be honest, I don't even get a discount myself. I tried, I don't get a discount, 
uh, but it's well worth, it is worth its money in gold. And so I wanted to just talk to you guys about, about my, about this harness and why I like it so much. And we also have a little video to play that they, that they sent over the makers of help them up harness. So I was trying to get the makers of uh, the harness and, and they're having some difficulty connecting, but I'm going to keep on talking and play their video in the meantime, uh, but I'm still talking. So why I like this harness, first of all, when you've got a dog with mobility issues, you really need to almost have it on them at all times because um, it's, it's uh, you know, you never know when you're going to need it, right? It's like insurance. And if you've got a dog that's that's painful and you're trying to get them up and you're putting your arms underneath their uh, underneath their bellies, right, to, to get them to stand up, that could be painful. Or you're rushing to go get the um, the towel to put on the beach towel to put under them and, and hold it like a sling. That's that's can be really hard when they're when they're painful or they're large and you just don't catch them in time. So I really like a harness that I can keep on for most of for most of the day, 24 seven, really. And that way, at any time, if my dog is slipping or needs my assistance, bam, I'm right there to help. So Sam, my girl, just yet, yeah, just last night, she's in front of the, the water bowl and she starts to sink in her back legs. And so I just whoop, help her help her up a little bit. I love you. I love the name even. So I've got a help him up harness with me, but um, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I love about the help him up harness. Now, I know that you see two colors, and I'll explain why I have two colors. But the harness itself is so just well-made, and it has so much cushiony bits. So, Because I've seen some harnesses that really just have like a nylon, if you will, like this nylon. And it could, it could rub and cause some, um, you know, uh, just dermatitis and just some abrasions and cutting. So, so regardless of the harness that you use, Make sure that you take it off every day. Even though I want to keep it on, take it off every day. Check to make sure all their little, you know, uh, bits where these where the straps are are hitting doesn't have any kind of abrasions or, you know, there there may be a little bit of hair loss just because that's where it sits all the time. But I don't want to have any skin, you know, skin damage. But I love the, the help my harness because it's got these really great um, cushions, if you will, all over the place. Now. The best part of this harness is that it's really good on the hind end. And this video is going to, um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to read the comments. So I'm going to get back to your comment, Amber. So, so the hind end where a lot of our mobility issues are on the hind end gets such good support. So it really brings them up from, from underneath their, their, their abdomen as well as their chest. So it, it distributes the weight across the whole pet. And, and it's so easy. So it's got a handle in the front and a handle in the back, boop, picks them right up and it distributes the weight. Um, so what I see a lot of people with just front end harnesses, I mean, if your dog has a front end issue, then, then a front end harness is okay. But most of our dogs have, have hind end issues. But um, the, the harnesses that are only in the front, when you, when, if you've got a dog and here's their head and here's their, I should get it. You know what? I'm going to have to get a dog stuffed animal. I have a cat stuffed animal. Anyway, when you pick up from the front, you're actually now putting more weight on the back and that's what's hurting them. So we need to, we need to pick up from the, from the, from the hind end. So the harness comes in two sections and I'm doing a horrible job being Vanna White here, but it comes in two sections. This section is what's actually attached to the dog in the front. So their head goes through this. The video that I'm going to show is going to do a better job than me. And uh, and these clips are just super easy to, to snap on and off. So this goes underneath, around their forearm, and snaps right in. And it's got this beautiful, thick, comfortable handle. So it's really easy in the front to pick up. Then the back end component. So you got two components. Okay, I know this could look scary. Trust me, it's super easy. This goes in their hind end. So this goes over. Um, over their, 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 their hips, okay? And I mean, it's so squishy and loving, lovely. Then their tail or their nub, if you're like my Doberman, he just had a nub, the tail goes through here and this goes around their back end and scoops underneath them. And then these little straps go connect. Now, what's cool is that the Help Em Up Harness has both girl and boy versions. So that way you can leave them on and they won't, you know, they're, they're, they can still go to the bathroom without getting it dirty. So this their little tail and booty comes out of here and then the uh 
the the boy and girl parts are just set up perfectly. You you know where I'm going. So the front and the back then connect boop, like this. Boop. So what I'm going to do now is play the video, and then I'm going to come back because I'm going to give you some of my tips on what I did wrong with my first help em up harness and what I suggest you guys do. So I'm going to play this video. Let's see if I do this right. Here you go. I'll be back. To the help em up harness, the first full body harness designed to let you lift your aging, injured or recuperating dog up off the floor, up and down stairs or in and out of vehicles. A harness so unique it's patented. With easily accessible handles above the shoulders and hips, when you lift, it lifts from under your dog's chest and pelvis so that it never pulls or strains joints or tendons. Excessively engineered, it has complete neoprene padding, tubular nylon straps for double strength and longevity. And it is so well made, we guarantee it with a full year warranty. And now we offer a full assortment of walking leashes, a walking handle, and our new walking loops, which lets you assist the part of your dog that needs the greatest assistance. Perfect for dogs needing a little support while squatting. Our harnesses cover the spectrum for dogs from 10 to 225 pounds. A harness that can truly lift the body and spirit of your favorite pup. Visit us at helpemup.com for greater detail and information. There you go. So like I said, the video is going to be so much better than I can explain. And I am, I am telling you to get my dog who she started out at 80 pounds. She's, she's now about 70 or 67, 70 on a good day. So she's losing a lot of weight, but to even get her or my 110 pound Doberman boop, right into the car with no problem. And as you can see in the video, you can still use it in conjunction with a ramp. So you don't have to, you know, totally change everything. I just can't say enough about this harness. Uh, I leave it on Sam. All my pets have left it on the whole time. I take it off to go check. Everything is okay. Now, some of you may be asking, why do I have two colors? This comes in a variety of sizes. And I know somebody asked, um, Oh, good. Jen says it couldn't, couldn't come at a better time. Love this harness. Okay. Somebody asked about 12 pounds. I think they make a, sm a small one. So you can go on their website and see what their smallest is to over 200 pounds. Um, why do I have two colors? Okay. This is for the large, the blue is the larger breed, uh, larger size. And the orange is like a medium size. Uh, and, and what, what happened with Sam is because she really should be the blue size but she lost, she's been starting to lose a lot of weight. And so she's really long. And, and I was having trouble because I couldn't fit her in the medium and it be, and it fit her well. So I actually combined two of my harnesses. I've got every size. Now, here's though my problem. And this is what I want to warn you guys about. So I, my first harness was the orange one, which is the medium size. And I got this for my Samoyed. I'm going to get this out of here. There she goes. I got to give her some street cred there. Okay. So my Samoyed and um, she was about 50 pounds. So I got this and she wore it. And it was great. The, the, I don't want to call it a problem, but it's a design feature is that these are very um, adjustable. So they've got these, these, um, these, uh, you know, adjustable strands, if you will. Right. I'm losing my words, but what happened is, she was small, so this was this was this was bigger bigger for her. So when I tightened it up, her strands were really were really long, and so I cut them. I should never have cut them because you never know when you're going to get another dog who needs them. So what they suggest you do is you can stuff the extra bits down here, um, so it's not stretchy, it's just just adjustable, right? So it's just adjustable. So so the adjustable uh, the the adjustable feature is great, but the the extra length of strand or string straps that's the word i'm looking for straps uh, i cut and i shouldn't have cut it because now when i needed it for sam i couldn't make it any bigger so what i did is i took duncan's and sam's and combined them too especially this middle part because she was so long and i cut the strand strap so i couldn't connect the two for the for what she needed 
And then I ended up just getting Sam her own orange one. So I, so I, and it, they've made improvements to it. So I love it. And I'm glad I got the newer version. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys the tip is that do not cut the straps and you can mix and match if they don't fit perfectly. But um, I think the orange, uh, I think it was about a hundred dollars. It's a, it, yes, it's a little bit more expensive than the reg, than other ones you can buy in a store worth its weight in gold. So a few questions that have come through, does hair get stuck to it? So my girl is an Anatolian shepherd. So those are furry beasts. And um, you know what, as, as much as basically the fur, I don't know if you can see it, it's coming onto my, onto my, onto my own jacket. Um, anyway, so somebody asked about washing it and it is super easy to wash. I put it in the washer uh, and, and dryer. Here's the trick though, is that sometimes when you wash them, let me, let me get up close. All these little cool snappy things can come undone. And I have had to re-put it together. I, I deserve to be a part of their assembly line. And uh, and it's and they come undone. So you can buy a wash bag with Help Em Up Harness. So the wash bag can go into the wash. So you can just put it all in the bag and easy peasy to wash. And uh, so it makes it super easy. My girl, Sam, because of her mobility issues, and I see I see Carrie coming on, so I'm gonna invite him on my screen in just a second um, from, from the, the creator of this. So Sam, when she, um, she has fecal incontinence because because her cancer is affecting her spine, which is affecting now her, her, um, her, her ability to hold it, and she's had some diarrhea lately. So if she happens to get it on, on the straps that go around her booty, easy, super easy to wash. Um, now somebody asked about keeping it on and, uh, and or taking it off at night. I I personally leave it on Sam the whole time because she she get if she struggles or gets caught somewhere, I am quick and easy to get to get to her. The only time I take it off is actually during the day when I'm brushing her, making sure everything is looking good, getting her uh, uh, feeling good. So now listen, without further ado, I'm going to bring on the creator, and so he's he's getting ready. I see him getting ready. <laughs> And, and um, so just so you guys know, I know I said this in the beginning, I get no kickback. I can't say enough about this harness. I talk about it everywhere. We already showed the video. And so now I'm going to bring on the creator, Carrie Zimmerman. He's coming on a few seconds. There we go. Wow. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to our Facebook Live. We've got everybody from, we've got people from the UK, from Texas, Boston, and a, a really great group of, of people. And, you know, I, I'm a part of a Facebook group for Learn Your Paralysis Dogs, and, and uh, they are a huge fan of, of this as well. So tell me, Carrie, did you yes. invent this? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I have to give my wife an awful lot of credit because it really was a uh, it was a combined effort, if you will, because uh, we had a dog, Blue, who we named our company after, who had, uh, you know, Cushing's disease. And we lived on a, uh, a, a, a state park, but you couldn't get her over a fence. They wouldn't allow fences or, you know, gates and that sort of thing. So we, we literally... We wanted to take her on walks to keep her active with us and to keep her with us. So we invented the harness to get her over a fence. So, uh, and it was, that park also had a dog walking park and people started asking us questions about it. So that's the evolution of the harness. We just needed something to get her over the fence. Yeah, and awesome. How awesome. It, and it's great. So I, 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 I spent about 15 minutes gushing about about Thank your heart you. i have you know we help we help at lap of love we help thousands i mean we're going to help seventy thousand families this year and so many have mobility issues and i have tried every product out there and as far as harnesses go this is my this is by far my favorite harness and well, thank you. so congrats on making a quality product. And so what, what I was telling everybody is that, is that my invention on your invention was okay. that I, was I put the two colors together because I made a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so you know, I can TM this later for you. But um, what, 
what I did was this is my first harness for my for my Samoyed and I and the straps are adjustable and it's beautiful, but they were so long and I was getting frustrated. So I cut my straps. OK, which is fine, except for when you want to use it again. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately. So then I had this one for my Lorenzo Paralysis dog and he was a 110 pound Doberman. So he was great. Now, in my current dog, Sam. When I had to fit her, I just went and I was like, oh, I'm going to get my help with harness. So she was able to wear the large one when she was 85 pounds. Right. And she's a big breed dog. Um, but she started to lose weight. She's getting, you know, cachexia because of her cancer. She also has Cushing's. Uh, and wow. Wow. So she went down in size, but not, but I, but I cut the straps. So I put the two together and it was great. And then now she's 65 pounds. So I went and bought her her own medium one. And you okay. guys have made some enhancements. Yes, we have. And I noticed it right away. Like the clips are better. So tell me about your enhancements. So uh, uh, the enhancements are, are actually kind of looking down the road just a little bit. Yeah. So uh, we added D-rings because like you, a lot of the vets who use our product and a lot of the therapists especially are always asking, why can't you hook something on? this way why can't you you know uh, uh you know uh, restraint uh for doing all kinds of exercises and rehabilitation so we added the d-ring so that you could start adding things you know and so i'm i'm in the middle of releasing and some of your viewers may be interested in this uh tank straps for those who use uh water therapy so they they connect to your you know, to the railings that are on the tops of tanks and they'll connect to the D rings on the harness. So you can center dogs in the tank that way. Okay. Um, so many asked, they said, you know, we had a jury rig this thing that hangs over our tank. It's a pain in the neck. And so they said, could you fix something? So that's how a lot of the evolution of our harness has taken place is by vets and therapists asking us for, could you fix this? Could you make this work? Uh, you know, I, I lengthened the straps numerous times for the very thing you were talking about. Uh, you can cut them off, but just don't cut them off too much. That's I cut them off too much. I and I'm gonna just admit it. I was frustrated, and I learned to shove them down the little holes. Listen, I've done it. So my girl Sam goes to physical therapy, and so she does water treadmill. And I have this great video of her with her harness on, so it stays stays on her. They're so easy to wash and dry and stuff like that. And um, so I can't wait to tell my, my therapist about your next version that will have those, you know, connections because yes. a lot of our dogs are going into therapy. I have those, I have those in stock as a matter of fact, as of yesterday. So um, one of the other things too, is I bulked up the harness and you may or may not sort of, you know, we tried to do this as, as you know, sort of, quietly as possible, but they are definitely bulked up. And the reason being is that we're in testing right now with one small little adaptation, you can connect your dog to your seatbelt and they can turn the help them up harness into probably the best uh, seatbelt for dogs, you know, that's available because it, seat, it, it connects both ends of the dog to the seatbelt. That so is so they'll just they'll move forward, but they won't slip out. The, the harness won't break. You know, it's really uh, bulked up, but yeah. you know, it's kind of underneath all of that. So no, I instantly I knew when I and I just got her at like maybe two months ago, and it was perfect. Right. And and I could tell like just the clip everything because the last time I bought this was three years ago maybe, and so yeah. this is how you could reuse them. They're they're wonderful, and I mean. I just love them, but um, you know, there's a lot of comments I'm reading too. And so what happened with, with a lot of our dogs with mobility issues, especially the neurological ones, they lose weight in the backside more than the front right. and may yeah. bulk up in the front. So what's nice about your adjustable straps is that you could you could make that adjustments really well. And my big, my big problem with Sam was that because she's long and I cut the strap between the two, I couldn't. That was my problem. And, you know, all those zip ties are good for everything. It was not good for. No, yeah, you can't add length. You can only shorten it. Yeah, uh, exactly. you know, it's interesting. You should mention that too, because that's one of the reasons uh, a lot of our, you know, clients. Why aren't you selling this on, uh, you know, Amazon or something? And 
we don't specifically for that reason because we'll sell a half a harness to make sure that your size is correct because there are so many dogs that are deeper in the chest and narrower in the waist that you do have to mix and match a little bit. So and you can mix and match. You can mix and match. Somebody just asked that. So yeah. there you go. You, that, I didn't know that, Carrie. So, so that is awesome. Now, I know the answer to this, but I'm going to let you answer this. This is Sonia. She says that her dog has a tracheal issue. Okay. So um, does, does anyone know if there's a front ring for a leash? It's really on the back, right? Right. Does it pull in the neck at all? He's small, 15 pounds. So yeah. how small does your small go? Uh, it goes to 10, basically. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. So I think this is fine for Sonia's. And I, this is one of the things why I love the harness is that it's not pulling on the on the trachea or right. a lot of these dogs with LARPAR. We got to be careful about their neck or if they've had a tie back or anything like that. And so the right. front end, wait, not the back end. Our front end has this, this is on the top. It so is. I would my my I either hook my leash here or here. And that putting it in the back like that is my recommendation, because uh, there's always the possibility the harness will get too far forward yeah. if you don't position it so that the T pad underneath fits behind those two those two back you know kind of padded straps. Those need to be just at the back of the of the rib cage, mm -hmm. and that keeps it in place. And then you can adjust the length underneath the, the sternum with that strap that you're holding. And that way you can move that O-ring, you know, a little lower so that, yeah, it, so that, you know, it's not putting pressure on the neck of the right. back. Here would be the head. Yes, and so that when you're adding a leech to it just like that, uh that keeps the whole front half of the harness kind of back and moving back yes that now i totally get that makes so much sense um <laughs> so i'm like i'm just amazed it's a, it's a fantastic design and i have i have you know i've had some people that are like oh buy this one on amazon for you know 30 bucks and i'm like well there's 30 dollars that you're going to regret <laughs> <laughs> well, i you know there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of good designs out there and that sort of thing. But I think where we went the extra mile was the padding is neoprene and uh, that so it stays soft and it's there for a long time and it's very durable. Uh, plus it's washable, which I, when I came on, I heard you mentioning washing and, you know, washing is, a, is an important part of it. 100%. Right. Besides Sam pooping on it by accident. She's, uh, yeah. I, I can't actually, and a lot of our viewers will, will appreciate this. Sometimes you can't bring the groomers anymore. She's, she's so almost paralyzed that no groomer can, can, can groom her well. And so it's, it's so her, her harness smells a little bit. So we got to do a weekly descenting right. and, and just, you know, I like it clean and it's fresh and it's nice. And we do sell individual parts. Oh, so that what? You know, like a back half, you can buy a second one so that you can wash one and have one to use. And, you know, so th that's another option. That's actually a really good idea because um, I, like I said, I, I keep her in it, it all the time, except for when I take her out just to, I brush her and I make sure everything is fine and just, you know, give her a good scratch and love down. It goes right back on. Right. Oh, and then, uh, air drying is the only thing I request. The neoprene is kind of susceptible to uh, heat. It, uh, you know, it's All right. I may have boo booed there and put it in the dryer. So no dryer. Just air dry it. Yeah, that, that's air idea. Dry it. Okay, everybody heard it here. Um, so Sonia's excited about the mix and match. Somewhat, uh, let me just tell you here. That's awesome. Too. What a great company. I think that was about the mix and match. Definitely need to purchase one, Nicole. Um, Thank you so much for a great design. This is exactly what I needed. Uh, thank you. Allison says, thank you so much for all your help over the years with harness fitting and overnighting parts when needed. <laughs> <laughs> the best harness and best company to work with. Look at that. I hey. did not pay her either. But no, uh, these are, uh, these are uh, you know, gems, w words of, I've longed to hear. You know, we stressed the customer service. I know that people get annoyed with this because uh, we don't always answer the phone right away. Yeah. And, and we are making strides to, to add another layer to that to happen. But 
it's it's really because we're kind of a small company, but we do our best to speak to you directly when we do, because uh, customer service is something that really went away. When I started this company, everybody was sourcing their customer service to yeah. India. Yeah. And uh, so we just made sure that everybody that worked with us was here local and knew the product. And that's what's important is that, you know, it's, as you know, you know, these are our they are more than our best friends. They are our companions. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the um, you know, just unsolicited love. And so I know that when people are looking for a harness, they're in a they're in a difficult place and they're looking for something to help them through this moment. And uh, so that's what we try to be very, very, you know, yeah. You understand. It's frustrating because, you know, a lot of times too with mobility issues, they're still happy, wagging their tail, eating, yes. right? But they can't move and I can go into end of life decisions with that. It's it's a real, it's a real struggle. So we can help them with this hard part. And I mean, it has been without this harness, there's no way I could have gotten Sam to um to chemotherapy every week, no way to get her to a physical therapy every week. Like, n like absolutely not without your harness. So right. For me personally, as a veterinarian, it has saved my dog. It has extended her life with me, which is like well, right. So I'd pay you, I'd pay you another hundred bucks for my harness. Uh, now, uh, Michelle says my harness <laughs> helped my guy for the last year of his life. It was truly a blessing. Oh, and, that's it was, great. and it was, and it has held up so well, even after being loaned out to help other pups. That's that, awesome. You know, we uh, hear that all the time. People loan their harnesses and, you know what? Great. Uh, please do it, you know, so that other people can benefit from them. Uh, yeah. you know, we didn't get into the business to make money. We got into the business to help dog. And uh, I, I think that, you know, chosen the product. A, th a thousand percent. Now, somebody asked uh, about, you know, completely paralyzed dogs. And, and this is not a wheelchair, obviously. And and by the way, I've actually bought I, I bought Sam a wheelchair because even though she's not totally paralyzed, she needs it for her support. So when I go on walks, she can, she can have, it's like grandma Walker. <laughs> right. I right? But even if a dog is totally paralyzed, I love this because you can easily move them around, like shifting them in their bed, like trying to shift a dog in the bed is horrible. Right. And did you know, Carrie, that my, when, when myself and we have Dr. Sheila Robertson who works with us, we, we speak nationally for veterinary conferences Yes. And, and we we say if, if as veterinarians, if you've got a dog that's going to be having a surgery and they've got hind end weakness or just old and they're going to be a little groggy after anesthesia to put one of these on before they wake up. So that way, when they're waking up, you can easily move them around, you know, situate them better in their in their cage, help them up on the, you know, out of their cage and things like that. So we even recommend it for clinics to use even temporarily. Wow, that's and, and a loaner program works for a lot of practices. Yeah. You know, just through that initial phase. And we, we yep, recommend that, that as well. We just went through that as well with our pup. Uh, we had another, we did another TPLO. And uh, <laughs> I'm working with our harness and I'm going, wow, this thing works really well, you know, because getting her you can't go up and down stairs initially for that first two months. And so, uh, but you still got to keep them off of that leg. And uh, yeah. the harness works really well. And I, before I forget, we just introduced looped handles. I don't know if you've, you've seen them, no. but the, the shoulder straps and the walking handles each has a kind of a specific uh, need that it, it, you know, kind of uh, solves. You need to lift a whole dog, you need a shoulder strap. But uh, what most people need is a little bit of support when their dog is defecating after post-operative or, you know, they've got some spinal issues, you know, uh, arthritis. And the loop handle clips onto those D-rings and it just goes over the back, over the, where the hip is. So you can literally support your dog from a little distance away to give them the privacy, so to speak, that you know they get embarrassed and they you know they look at you like why are you this close you know so uh, you, that's what I mean. but exactly right where you have it there and we sell them as pairs so you can literally take them from those two d-rings all the way to the two front d-rings and you can treat the harness as a sling so yeah. if, 
So if you've got a dog that needs more support, but it's 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 like a longer handle is what really what it does. Well, you know what's really good about that is because for all, we are also all different sizes, right? Yes. So I am six one, and so I'm very tall. I know you can't tell in my little square here, but <laughs> I'm pretty tall, and um, so I prefer a bigger dog because then they're up higher, right? So. Yes. If I'm helping a little 40 pound beagle, it actually hurts my back because I have to bend down lower. So that could even just help me as a tall person, give me extension, if you will. Well, and you bring up the the most significant thing, the size relationship to owner and pet, you know, so bending down all the time becomes painful. So yeah. the loop handle is just an extension of the handle on the dog. And so you can walk with your dog and still support them while walking with them. Right, and not all crimped over, and and uh, I love it. Yeah, so Michelle said that's an awesome addition. I created a loop handle like with a leash and, ha and handles, so she right. she's married. So this is going to be perfect. Um, uh, I said <laughs> I would sell out of this. So some of so these comments are awesome. I love I love it. So all right, now for the accessories, I talked about the wash bag. Love okay. the wash bag because. I washed it once without, actually, I put it in another, like my own garment bag that, you know, you can put delicates in and the thing, it came out and all the little, all the little doodads came out. <laughs> I was sitting there trying to reloop them. So, so if this whole lap of love thing doesn't work out, I'm going to come to you guys and, and be in your assembly line because I could loop them. And okay. I, figured, I figured it out. Um, but so the wash bag is, is great. And um, I have not yet gotten the shoulder strap, but that's, that's really nice to have. Yeah, it, it is. It, if you've got a bigger dog and you really need it, you know, I, all of us have sat in a, in a waiting room at a vet practice. And, and if you watch big dogs getting out of vehicles or, or owners getting their dogs out of vehicles, uh, it, it's, you know, it, it can be really painful at times. So, okay. yeah, so and, that and that's where that shoulder strap really comes in handy. Uh, I'm trying to work on a cart that you know folds up so that you can put your dog on that you know at a practice and it also would work as a as a you know uh, a device where therapists can work with the dog because they'll be supported by the harness in that cart gotcha. okay. as, as opposed to those people who don't do water therapy but like to do land therapy and you guys you know who you know who you are it's a pretty you know separated group uh, so we're trying to do something that helps a, a little bit of everybody. I love it. Now, Alyssa has a very good question. Okay. She's hoping to order one today. She's got a 14 year old male lab. She just can't figure out where his male parts sit. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I heard some knocking behind me. She's worried about where his male parts fit. Okay. Right. So this is a, the conventional harness, what we call the conventional, is literally for 95% of male dogs. Uh, I, I, we made a product design that is the new you know, pelvic pad. And it used to be a solid band underneath their waist with two straps that came back and a pad that connected between those two straps. Yep. I, had a, I had a vet ask me in a presentation, she goes, why doesn't it lift from underneath the pelvis? I go, well, it does actually. She goes, no, actually it doesn't. And that set me off on that you know, path. So I redesigned that so that it does fit directly underneath the pelvis. It also allowed us to you know, sit, that pelvic pad sits behind the male penis. So it cleared up a lot of issues. But for that 5% that are really far back, the, you know, the, the penis is literally between the hind legs, we still have the U-band version. And that that has a an armature that ha leaves a U-shaped opening so that the penis passes through. But uh, it does, you know, that armature is made of aluminum and it, uh, it, it it's not weight, but it's still rigid. It's so, something there. Yeah, but when your dog is lying in. Okay, so it's only for the ones that are really far set back. It's so rare. Yes. So Renee, I'm mean, sorry. So uh, Alyssa should just probably buy the normal conventional one and it'll be okay. It'll it's be amazing okay. how many we transfer or, you know, swap out. And we do. We swap out. That's also part of our policy. If you buy one and decide 
you know, within seven to eight days that it's not the right one, we swap it out. Nice. Um, so a big point that you made, and I think it's really important for everybody to understand is where, where you're lifting from. And, uh, the, the, there's so many people who just use the, the towels or, or something like that. And that's, that's like their abdomen. That's their belly. That's not, it's, yeah. it's not where you should lift from. Yes. So you really do need to lift from that pelvis. Yes, you do. And under the torso. And uh, yes. And under the torso. You and, know, I, I'm sure, you know, you know, so many get used to just using that back handle in and out of vehicles and that sort of thing. You do a little dance, you get used to kind of getting their front legs up and then boom, you lift with the back handle. And it oh yeah, I, I should video me because Sam, my girl, she thinks she can still get in the car. So she's like, woo. And I have to be careful because she'll try right. it. She'll fall right over and getting out. I, I just, I just lift her right out. It's crazy. So Connie, so Alyssa's going to go by because she's ready now. She doesn't need the new band. Connie says, does the shoulder strap work with all versions? It does. Two, two different sizes. Okay. Uh, there's the extra large and then there's the large me or the medium. And so, and it's kind of counterintuitive because the extra large is, it's longer length and a little thicker. Okay, but uh, the the medium is actually longer in length because it's for shorter dogs. You know what I mean. Okay. So you got to get it over the shoulder. You know, you okay. want that quality, that feature, getting it yeah. all the way to the opposite shoulder. And that just that, those just hook onto the the D ring, the rings, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's nothing to do with the U because she's got the uh, the U U band version. That doesn't matter. No, right? it, it hooks onto the to the handle and to one of the front O rings. Okay. Uh, and then the, the walking handle is great for walking with your dog. It spins because we found out early on that you have dogs who are spinners. Mm -hmm. and, and so you literally aren't trying to turn the, you know, the handle to adjust to the dog. You just stand there and the dog can spin with it. So that's fantastic. You know, cause mine doesn't necessarily, spin. well, Sam, she's, she, but my other dog, he, he likes to, to spin or, to, to, to pick his spot wisely. So he'll like, yeah. right. That's the spin. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. He just doesn't want to poop in front of everybody. So he's got to, you know, <laughs> hustle into the, into the woods a little bit. Um, so when did you, when did you create this? Uh, gosh, I think it was uh, 2008. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I think that's when we actually got, you know, it was funny. We got our first patent on Christmas day. I mean, it was issued December 25th, you know, 19, uh, 2008, 2009. So it's, it's been a while. That it's been a long time. Do you know how many, um, harnesses you've sold just for fun? Have, honest to God, I have no idea. It's gotta be dozens of thousands, like thousands of thousands. <laughs> um, so do you know where the farthest one of your harnesses have ever gone? It uh, went to the far reaches of Russia, uh, believe it or not. And uh, I couldn't tell you what city it was because I don't think I could read it. Um, but South America, all the way to the end of the, uh, you know, the uh, continent. Yeah. Um, Hong Kong, you know, uh, you know, Jane McMay, probably you probably yeah. met her at some places. So she is a huge proponent of the harness and, you know, selling in Hong Kong. So we're all around the world. Uh, you know, Australia is another great, you know, it, 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 I was just telling this to somebody yesterday. It's, it's really fascinating because uh, the countries all around the world don't really treat dogs the same, you know, from country to country. And that, that attitude of like, you know, we're going to preserve this dog. We're going to keep this dog as long as possible exists in, you know. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of people look at me like I'm a little crazy doing all that I do. So, uh, you know, with, and, and really? Who, who's that? Who would think that? <laughs> oh, my girl, Sam, she's going to live to 28. She's exactly. Only, she's only 14. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Now I know you guys are in Colorado. Yes. Yeah. I was in Denver uh, a few months ago, just like in, in, uh, September for a conference. And I was like, Oh, I'd love to go South. Cause I think you're South in Boulder. If I'm not mistaken. Not that I'm not that I'm creeping on you guys, but 
you are my favorite company. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of companies like ours here. This is kind of entrepreneurial heaven. I love you know? it. Uh, I Kong do. is, you know, Golden, Colorado, just west of us, is where Kong started. Really? Yeah, and and he still lives out there. He sold uh, the vet practice to KPM, and they're mm -hmm. out of California, but he still exists. And uh, recently, I a contractor working on our house worked at his place and told me the story of how he invented the Kong, and it's really um, unbelievable. That unbelievable. Is so cool. that it, was is a, so cool. it was a bushing for a shock absorber, and he threw it to his dog, and his dog went ape, you know, just crazy. Yeah. And that began his process, and it's, it's a great story. I love stories like this, how stuff gets created. So, you know, yeah, and how I, long have you been doing this? I, 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 sorry, Mary, I don't know that. Uh, well, listen. So I have. I graduated University of Florida in two thousand and eight, uh, and but I, I had a ten year career in software development before I became a veterinarian. So I'm, I'm older. So I graduated when I was older. You don't look. And, it. And thank you. It's all the filters <laughs> that Facebook Live provides. <laughs> and, um, and so have been doing end of life care since since uh, two, over 10 years now. And I love it. I love it. It's, it's, uh, we meet the best families, you know, yes, it is the hardest time uh, yeah. for them, but to, to make it a little bit better and is, is very rewarding. And I'm, I don't want to say unfortunate, but the majority of what we do is end of life is, is euthanasia. And what does make me sad is when I go to a home and their pet has not been to their doctor in over a year they don't have the flooring, you know, the, the, it's a, it's a ice rink because the floor is, you know, a tile right. or the floor. They're sitting there with the, with the, with the um, towels trying to move them. And it's, and it's so many mobility dogs. It's just, it's ridiculous. So, uh, or uh, so, so that's why I like to do these things is to teach people about other products that are available to before they need our services for end of life. I want them to have a good life until that time. And, and, this harness allows that. So good for I can't, you. Well, I can't, can't say enough about it. So we don't have a clinic. We only go to people's homes. And and uh, I know that I was talking to your wife about that because she's like, oh, do your doctors need this? It's the doctors before lap of love that that need your brochures and, and words. So if any of you um if any of you are uh, that are listening or have the help of harness, tell your tell your vets about it because we don't know every product out there, right? So, yes. tell, you know, it, the best way us vets learn about products is is usually by the, the families that find them. You know, and you've reminded me of one more thing I'd like to just yeah. you know uh, point out. And uh, what happens is that people really they become very accustomed to the to the harness. And they leave it on their dog for lengthy periods of time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're talking two and three weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. And we don't hear the truth, but we suspect what, you know. And all I request of them is that the two straps that come up between the hind legs, if yeah. they just disconnect those at night, because mm -hmm. dogs move their legs at night when they're sleeping, and it can rub in between their, in between their hind mm -hmm. legs. And so that's all they got to do. So the, it'll still support the dog if okay. they have to get up at 3 a.m. for that potty break. But uh, and it's easy just to snap those two up and get them going. Perfect. I will do that with Sam tonight because I leave it on her. I mean, I, I like I said, I take it off every day, but but I leave all the straps on at night. So I'll take that off because she she finds herself caught in weird places in the middle of the night. And <laughs> I got to go. Where we all. Right. Yeah, I'll be that person in a, in forty years too. So. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Now. Yes. So I um somebody said that her dog runs ultra marathons at night. So we when we posted this uh Facebook live announcement, we had done a little um uh contest, if you will, okay. and asked people to post pictures of their gray muzzles because I love a gray muzzle. Right. And you guys are, are going to be giving them a harness at, at whatever size they need. Yes. Plus, plus the sh shoulder strap. Wh whichever one they you know prefer. Whatever they prefer. Okay. And a wash bag. Right. Okay. Perfect. Not, okay. Perfect. So 
I could not be the decider of it because I would pick everybody who um, who 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 submitted their thing. You know, I'd be like, all oh, ten of you get this. But uh, hold on, I am getting the winner. So I had Deanna who helps me. So hi, Deanna. Somebody says I missed out on the contest. I know, but Deanna picked the winner, and so we will contact her if she's not watching right now. But the winner is Terry Ambrosoli. Dog name is Lily. So we will contact Lily's mom okay. and uh, let them know how to reach out to you guys to, to collect her winnings. Uh, but so thank you guys for donating that. We really uh, appreciate it. Our pleasure. Now, did I forget anything important to ask? Um, <laughs> no, we have covered the, you know, the gamut, I think, you know. Uh, I think we did. I think we did. Um, all right. So. Listen, in two weeks, I'm doing a Facebook Live on laser therapy. Oh, so, great. Very cool with the Dr. Kristen Kirkby, who I used to be in Colorado, actually. And, oh, there, Terry was watching. <laughs> there you go, Lily. Uh, so, listen, Terry, my, my only request is that when you get your harness, that you post and oh, yes. you, yeah, post it and um, uh, and 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 tag, help them apart. I tag you guys on all my stuff. And listen, I, you know what? I've been doing a really bad job. I was supposed to put these little blue things up. So the website is helpemup.com, H-E-L-P-E-M, right. up. And if you need to text us or, or email us, it's info at helpemup.com. Info at yeah. yes. So hopefully those of you will watch in a few weeks about the laser I, I thank you so much for coming on and chatting with me. I told you it'd be slightly painless. <laughs> no, this has been perfect. I'm okay. sorry I was late. It turns out that, uh, you know, Firefox doesn't support, oh. uh, you know, your site, oh. Laugh of Love, or, or I don't know if it's your site or just. No, this, is, this is Facebook and BeLive. So. BeLive is what it didn't support. All so right. Well, that's good to know. Software. That's good for us to know. But you know what? I I, I went on by myself and basically <laughs> You were killing it. I was I was doing my best job. I mean, I've gotten three of these things. I pretty much know it. You 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 probably are an expert at this point. I'm you played the video, right? I played the video, everything we I were good. And one day when we're out of lockdowns and whatnot, I would love a tour of your facility. So <laughs> Okay. I want to, you know, put me to work, make a few things. And okay. Yeah, that, that's a short tour. Uh, you know, and just to, if any of your viewers need photos, you know, or anything like that for their websites, uh, it, it, we can provide those. And with that, okay. it's fairly painless. Good, 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 good. And and I love I loved personally to see photos of, um, of, of our d dogs using it uh, all around. So you could always tag me for, you know, Dr. Mary. At, That's at great. The, so tag me. One of my girlfriends, I sent you and your wife a picture of her dog. She's in Hawaii and, and she has this beautiful picture of her dog in Maui wearing your, wearing your harness. So it's, it's all over. Wow. So yeah. glamour shots, sort of a glamour shots. Yes. Sports exactly. Illustrated magazine type of thing. Okay. It's totally <laughs> exactly. Uh, why isn't there one of those, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again and thank you everybody for watching i hope this is helpful again it, you guys have extended the lives of thousands of pets and extended happiness than you probably will ever know so thank you thank That's you from the bottom of my heart from a, a gray muzzle lover and and uh, a supporter of your of your of your product so good job <laughs> thank you mary this was fun uh, I, I hope to see you at an event you know sometime yes. in the near future you know Definitely. Well, now we know each other. So yes. <laughs> All right. Well, take care. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Mary. You're welcome. Bye.